All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. Oh, it's bad. Real bad. Delgado will fill you in with the details. Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! sure we will have those defense batteries up and running? No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Del. Really bad shape. I I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart, and you want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. Get it done. All right, all right. I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? Ah, perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Dependable as always. Unlike some people we know. Oh, that's real funny. All right, listen up, because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sysdef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. Oh my god. Haven't you been paying attention? The only reason half the fleet's captains haven't scattered across the settled systems is because they're waiting for their part of the score. No money means no protection. No protection means we are done when c Steph arrives. Simple enough for you? I have a very reliable source at Mast. They were so concerned that the threat was real, they actually jumped the information out to us right away. Just slow down and listen before you jump the gun and ruin everything. Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm gonna upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. While we're at it, perhaps we should fetch your groceries for you as well? Once your ship is ready, jump out to Bannock 4, board the Legacy, and bring us the cash. Everything you'll need for ship repair and construction is down in Jass's section of the key. If you have any questions about the modules, she'll have all the answers. Of course there's a catch. What, you thought this would be easy? After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm gonna give you, and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption, so bring it back here right away. Because those Galbank ships were carrying so much money, they didn't even trust their own crew. Yeah? I sure hope so. Look, I'm gonna make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Now get moving. Now get your ass to Bannock 4. This better be important. The toughest nut to crack is if you see Sysdef brings in the Vigilance. That Commander Ikande has himself a hell of a ship there. Advanced shield deck, bristling with weapons. I would love to see that thing burn. If we hope to stand a chance against it, we need those defensive batteries and Krix's legacy. The Crimson Fleet isn't really a fleet. It's an ideal. 
a principle that Crick sought to set up so that pirates didn't infight over scraps. Over time, that notion has been lost. Captains have been turning their backs on the fleet, doing jobs on the side, killing each other. Bringing Crick's legacy back to the fleet would be like validating everything Jasper Crick's believed in. And I'm certain it would unify us once again. Of course, it wouldn't exactly hurt to have all that extra money at our disposal. But I think you catch my meaning. You've met some of them already. Mathis Castillo, Yevgeny Rokov, Juan Dayu, Estelle Vincent, and Adler Kemp. They might feel like independence to you, but each one of them has a stake in the Crimson Fleet. And each one of them wants a cut of the wealth. I am sending word out to every able-bodied captain that they are needed. We'll see how many answer the call. Get moving before it's too late. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. Not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so it should be an easy install. All right, let's... batteries online, so make this fast. Not a problem. And I need your cat. Not a problem. Sure, sure.
for you, Captain. The fleet is family. Stealing from each other is just what you call it. Ships have arrived, Commander. Good. After we're done here, arrange it briefly. I want all of their seals over here as soon as possible. Yes, sir. Spending all this time with those pirates couldn't have been easy. Just hold out a little longer, and we'll be back with the good guys soon enough. There you are. Where have you been? I've received the reports about that stunt you pulled inside of Genadine. Opening fire inside a civilian facility. Are you out of your mind? Jennerdine is furious at us right now. They want Commander Ikonde to resign. You always have a choice. People have died because you were too stubborn to find a safer solution. This is not how you see Sysdev operates. I don't care if we're one step away from Krix's legacy. If you do it again, you're off this operation, and I'll have Top throw you in the brig. It'll be my pleasure, sir. All right. I think we're all in agreement here. So let's get back to the operation at hand. It's time to put all the cards on the table and prepare to attack the key. That's the only course of action. There's no scenario here where the fleet will be allowed to continue. Before you jump to Bannock 4, I need to make one thing abundantly clear. The credits from that Gal Bank transport cannot reach the fleet. You have to bring them here at all costs. If Delgado gains access to those resources, we might be touching off a battle we can't possibly win. We've been monitoring the Crimson Fleet's comm chatter and the Crick system. They're gathering allies by making promises based on your success. As much as I hate to admit it, you see Sysdev won't stand a chance. The fleet will become stronger and more unified than ever. Perhaps the UC should have thought of these potential consequences before incarcerating those people on Suvorov. Perhaps. But instead of spending time debating our predecessors' mistakes, we should be working towards a rapid solution.
I'm pretty sure you're joking. But just in case you're fishing for what I'd say, I can tell you this. That money doesn't belong to you, or the Crimson Fleet, or even UC Sistef. It was for war reparations and belongs to the people. Allowing Delgado to get Crix's legacy, or keeping it for yourself would have extremely serious repercussions. Hey, don't worry about it. You've come this far. We know you've got what it takes to bring the prize home. Well said, Lieutenant. All right, I guess this is it. Do whatever prep you need to do aboard the Vigilance, and then head out to Bannock 4. When you return here with Crix's legacy, we'll begin the attack. Good luck. Our directive is simple. We are tasked with the eradication of space piracy in the settled systems. As the chief source of pirate activity, the Crimson Fleet is our primary target. During the end of the Narion War, the money was destined to bolster the Freestar Collective's coffers. Even though we were rivals at the time, and I suppose we still are to some extent, the credits still rightfully belong to their people. After the money is turned over to Mast, I'm certain arrangements will be made to return the money to the proper authorities in Aquila City. The evidence you've been bringing to Lieutenant Toft has been instrumental in convincing the brass at Mast to greenlight the attack. They've sent us support ships, extra troops, weapons. All on account of your role in the operation. To put it simply, if it wasn't for you, this operation would be at a standstill. It's time to dig deep and get the job done.
This is more my speed. Oh, I could hike here for a while.
searching them, make it quick. to carry all that junk. If you have any gear, Time to go?
bring me anything useful? Talk to you later.
Got something for? Want to see what I'm ca- Glad to haul whatever you need. different. that matter. Pirates, mercs, and those religious nut jobs. We always knew there were some places left over from the colony war. Bases, labs, stuff like that. But now it's come out that there are even more. A lot more. Spread all over the settled systems. Looks like the big two didn't play by their own rules when they were playing war. Now it's a friggin' feeding frenzy. Everyone trying to find them. Trying to use them. So why shouldn't we? It's between being prepared just and... just as much right as they do. So let's go looking. Carrying too much.
space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. Here. See ya. Looking to make quick work? I bet I have something. All right, see you around. I hope you actually need... Just to make it quick. This better do. I need to have Aludra take a look at this kinetic. Recoils off. Are you looking to start something? Because I'll finish it. The fleet protects our own. If it's hard to find. <laughs>
Always a pleasure. So there I am. You see security on my tail, and my grab drive just shows. As much as I am eager to explore the universe, there's nothing quite like the feeling of returning. Gave up my room in the lodge, Sondre. Found one. Easy as a needle in the stack. Hope those... Forgot to check the method. Let's deal. Show the words another time, then. <laughs> 